awkward. Quick video. Tuber update. Uh And today is just a quick update video. <laughs> that is so uncomfortable. Way, way to sell it. <laughs> and today. Two more videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, tell the people what has happened since the last video that we shot. Stop. Okay, okay. First of all, actually, before any of that, we want to apologize for not uploading sooner. Holly went away for a few days. Focus on me. <laughs> so it's completely her fault. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, but we've both, we've both been really, really busy recently, so we haven't been able to film exactly when we wanted to. Our hope was to film basically right after the appointment um, with the doctor, but things just didn't work out. But uh, we're filming now, and here it is. So, since the last time we filmed a video, you have since seen the surgeon again. And we have a lot more information now regarding what the surgery will be, what is expected, and what recovery time is. So, we should have made a list because there's quite I know, a, lot. There's a lot to <laughs> go through, but yeah. we'll, we'll try and get through it the best that we can. So, I guess the most important thing is that the tumor is benign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, uh, I recently went back to the surgeon um, to discuss my MRI because we hadn't got the results back from that yet to see kind of where the tumor exactly is located and how we're going to deal with that um, surgery wise. So when I went in for the recent appointment, um, the tumor ended up being bigger and more complex than we thought. So Show them how big. Isn't it like this? It's big. <laughs> like it's really big. Like it, it's big. So I, I said it was like a golf ball. It's bigger than a golf ball now. It's getting to the point where it's like bowling ball. <laughs> Okay, no, not really, but it's just <laughs> right here you can see the bowling ball. <laughs> there you go, baby. Show them. <laughs> no, okay. So the MRI came back and it's bigger than we originally thought. So it means they're going to have to approach the surgery a different way. Originally we thought they were just going to have to cut down my neck and be able to remove the tumor. Um, just that way. Easy and simple, uh, but... Apparently, they wanted to make it a little bit tougher, and now uh, they're pretty sure they're going to have to break my jaw and open it to be able to get to the tumor, so it's going to be more intense of a procedure than we thought and definitely a, a tougher recovery. Um, but the important thing is that the tumor is benign. The surgeon said that um, the tumor that Paige has is extremely rare but the, the procedure to get it out is routine. So she does a lot of these in general. She's a specialist as far as like neck and head cancers go and tumors as well. So yeah, to get it out, she's very comfortable with, but it's just the spot where it is. That's the bit that's really rare, especially for someone of Paige's age and lifestyle. Didn't she say it usually happens in like in smokers? Yeah, it's like smokers, drinkers, and like over the age of 80. <laughs> I am none of those things, so that's good. But uh, so she also gave us a surgery date, which is great. So mm -hmm. my surgery date is October 4th. Um, and after that, I'm going to have quite a bit of a recovery. So we're expected, I'm expected to be off school for about three to four weeks, mm -hmm. just depending on how the healing process goes. Could be longer, could be shorter. But that's kind of the range that they're giving us right now. Because of that, we also are going to be able to film really during that whole recovery time. So our goal right now is we'd like to try and build up a few videos for you guys. Yeah, so pre -record that we can, Yeah, pre-record them and um, post them kind of throughout the healing process so that you guys still get some content and we still get to make some stuff for you guys. Yes. Recovery is going to be... It's going to be tough. Re yeah, recovery is going to be tough. Uh, I'm going to be on a lot of drugs, I'm going to be out of it, I think, especially the first week, yeah. so I've been told it's uh, going to be just a pretty quick week for me, because I'm not going to remember <laughs> a whole lot. I guess the drugs that I'm going to be on are pretty intense, so. Yeah, she said you'll be waking up to eat, 
sleep, yeah. bathroom, and then you're going to be out that's for the rest it. of the yeah. day. It's um, going to be a fun week for everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's good. good stuff. Uh, I'll be in the hospital at least overnight after surgery. The surgery itself is between four to five hours long. I could have to stay a couple extra days just depending on how everything's looking, everything's healing up. After surgery, I'm going to have to deal with a few complications because they're going to have to cut my jaw. I have a nerve that, that runs um, along my jaw uh, that goes to my lower lip. And uh, once they, they cut through my jaw there, they're also cutting the nerve, which means that pretty much after surgery, I'm going to kind of look a bit funny because I'm not going to have any function out of my lower lip. Uh, she thinks for about three to six months until I can kind of regain that. Is that the function. one where when you smile it shows? Yeah, so it'd be like, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm going to look like for a while. One so. more time. get used to it and please love me anyways. Always. <laughs> that's the only side effect. If everything goes right, that's the only side effect that's long term. Yeah, that's the long term. Um, also, I'm going to have some numbing around the area, she says, for roughly a year. I'm not going to be able to feel anything down around my neck area or even kind of on my cheek and down by my chin. But she thinks that that will all come back, which is great. Like Everything that she's kind of described throughout mm -hmm. are things that are going to go away. So. That's what's keeping me really positive is knowing that yes, I'm gonna have these issues now, but long term they're gonna go away and I'm gonna they're gonna improve and I'm gonna heal. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, with a complex surgery, there are also chances of complications. So some of that could be permanent nerve damage. I could have uh, half facial paralysis on the side of my face that's permanent. Um, so that would be like not my eye not being able to work, like nothing basically on this entire side. The chances of this are really, really small, like she told us, because I was really scared right away, but she said that pretty much the chance of all of these really bad things happening are about 1% chance, so. Yeah, it's things that they have to tell you. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. I think we needed a little time before we posted this anyway, just to process all the information, because we did receive quite a bit of information just within the past week or so, so. Yeah. We just wanted to make sure when we were ready to update you guys, we actually had processed it all. Oh, the last thing I want to <laughs> the last thing I want to say is thank you all very very much. <laughs> like, yes. Thank you guys so much for all of the just the sweetest messages and comments mm -hmm. and inboxes. I can't believe the response to that video that we got. It was just everybody was so nice and so caring and it just it meant so so much it to meant me, a so. lot to both of us thank you so much thank you guys but yeah we just kind of wanted to make this video i know we've been receiving tons of questions about when you're going to post an update video so yeah. yeah i just wanted to let you guys know what's going on we will for sure keep you guys posted mm -hmm. as things progress and if anything changes yeah i'll keep people updated while you're got your jaw wired shut yeah. <laughs> half face slanted no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're so pretty. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next video. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. bye.